Good morning, everyone. Welcome sa panibago nating lesson about expression and sentences. This time, ire-relate natin kung ano ba ang pinagkaiba ng expression or mathematical expression at mathematical sentence. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Mathematical expression, ito yung mga quantity na pinag-uusapan sa isang situation or sa isang problem and usually, nire-represent ito ng symbols or numbers. This is the collection of different terms sa algebra na separated by plus, minus, times, divide, or different symbols ng iba't ibang operations. Dahil ito ay expression lang, Kumbaga sa English, ito ay phrases lang dahil collection lang ng iba't ibang terms, wala siyang complete thought. For example, meron tayong x plus 19. Idadagdag mo daw yung value ng x sa 19. Tapos, ano na? Hindi na natin alam kung ano kasunod. Hindi complete yung thought. Same goes with x divided by 4. E ano naman kung i-divide mo yung x sa 4? Anong susunod? Saan to naka-equals? Ano ba ang pinupunto or gusto nating malaman sa x divided by 4? Kahit mahaba, a squared plus 14a minus 49, kung wala namang itong complete thought, this is still an expression. Hindi nasusukat sa length yung thought ng ating expression or sentence. As long as incomplete yung thought niya, expression pa din siya kahit ilang terms pa ang nandyan. Kahit din naka-parenthesis tapos naka-exponent like this fourth example, this is still an expression dahil wala naman tayong pinagkukumpera ng value na to. In the first place, hindi natin alam yung value ng y para i-substitute dito. Kung alam naman natin ang value ng y, ano susunod? Kapag sinubstitute natin, what's next? And of course, 2v minus b, katulad lang ng iba nating nabanggit kanina. So itong limang to, Kahit iba-ibang operation yun nasa pagitan nila, kung nakita nyo, may plus, may divide, tapos may minus pa, o meron pang naka-parenthesis squared or naka-exponent. Tapos dito, may minus. Kahit anong operation pa yan, kung hindi naman complete yung thought, then that is just a mathematical expression. Since pwede nga silang maihalin tulad sa nouns or sa phrases, specifically sa noun, mas, mas malapit ang mathematical expression sa noun sa English. Pwede nating mabuo ang synonyms ng iba't ibang mathematical expression. Pag sinabing synonyms, at yung iba't ibang expression, na iba-iba man yung pagkakasulat, pero yung value nila iisa kapag sinimplify. For example, meron tayong 100. Ang 100, pwede mong isulat na 100 na lang. However, kapag sinulat ko siya as 10 times 10, iba man ang pagkakasulat, 100 pa din ang value. Same goes with 99 plus 1. O, ibang characters ang ginamit ko, may 9. Pero pag sinimplify mo to, 100 pa rin ang ibig sabihin. As well as 70 plus 30. And 187 minus 87. 1,900 divided by 19. Lahat ng to, iba-iba sila ng pagkakasulat, pero 100 pa rin ang kanilang ibig sabihin or kanilang value kapag sinimplify. Ito yung ibig sabihin ng synonyms. Lahat ng terms na nakikita nyo dito sa una nating example, all of them are synonymous because their values are the same even if they are written differently. O negative 44, sige nga, pause this video and give four different synonyms for negative 44. After 10 seconds, i-resume natin ang discussion. Negative 44 can be written as 88 divided by negative 2. It can also be written as negative 22 times the square root of 4, dahil ang square root ng 4 is just 2. Negative 11 times 2 squared. Yan, negative 44 din yan. And meron din tayong negative 10 minus 10 minus 10 minus 10 minus 4. Hindi man ito ang sagot nyo sa inyong mga papel, Kapag naman sinolve nyo ang mga sagot nyo, tapos ang naging answer din ay negative 44, then tama, nakapagbigay kayo ng apat na synonyms for negative 44. As for mathematical sentence, kung kanina yung mathematical expression are just nouns or phrases na hindi complete yung thought, 
Ito namang mathematical sentence consists of different expressions. Meron pa ding mga operation, pero may additional symbols for equality or inequality. Ibig sabihin may dalawa ka ng side ng equations na nire-relate sa isa't isa. Kaya meron ng complete thought. Example natin is x plus 19 equals 28. Ito yung una nating example kanina, x plus 19 sa mathematical expression. Pero dahil nalagyan na natin ng equals 28, na-relate na natin. Ah, ang hinahanap pala, yung x plus 19 dapat daw mag-equals sa 28. So complete na yung thought niya and this is already a mathematical sentence. Yung x over 4. Dapat daw mas malaki or greater than x minus 6. So, ibig sabihin, complete na yung thought dahil alam na natin yung gagawin natin or kung saan i-compare yung x over 4. At pati ito, 4 plus 7, quantity 4 plus 7 squared is less than or equal to 49. So, ito, complete na rin yung thought. We can say that this is already mathematical sentence. Kumbaga, itong mga symbol na equality and inequality, they serve as verb sa English or mga action word na nagre-relate sa dalawang parts ng sentence, which is yung unang mathematical expression at yung pangalawang mathematical expression. Since mathematical sentences have complete thought, it can either be true or false. For example, meron tayong square root of 144 is greater than 10. Is it true or false? Pause this video and try answering my question. Ano ba ang value ng square root of 144? We know that that can be simplified as 12. Is 12 greater than 10? Yes. So meaning this is true. Kung tama yung ibig sabihin ng mathematical sentence, true yun. However, kapag naman ganito, o oh yan, 4 plus negative 5. 4 plus negative 5 is that less than or equal to negative 9. 4 plus negative 5 is negative 1. Obviously, kapag negative numbers, mas malaki yung value niya kapag mas maliit yung kanyang digit or yung kanyang absolute value. In this case, this is not true or simply false. Next naman, we have x plus 2 equals 8. Meron tayong involved na variable, yun yung kaibahan niya sa unang dalawang example. Pero hindi naman given kung ano yung value ng x. Kunwari mag-try tayo ng iba-ibang value. Sabihin natin ang x natin ay 3. 3 plus 2 is 8, but 3 plus 2 is 5. And 5 is not equal to 8. This is false. Pero kung ang gagamitin natin ay 6 plus 2 equals 8, we will arrive with 8 equals 8 and that is true. So for this example, nakadepende sa value ng x kung magiging true or magiging false. Kaya ito ay tinatawag na conditional statement or conditional sentence. Dahil may condition, ano ba ang value ng x? para masabi natin kung true or false. And finally, for 0 over 0 equals 1, this is also known as indeterminate. Indeterminate dahil maraming pwedeng values ang 0 over 0. Ang 0 over 0, pwede siyang mag 1 dahil ang numerator denominator equal. Ang 0 over 0, pwede rin maging 0 kasi 0 ang numerator. Ang 0 over 0, Pwede ring maging undefined dahil ang kanyang denominator ay 0. Masyadong vague or masyadong hindi clear ang definition ng 0 over 0. That's why it is labeled as indeterminate. Hindi ma-determine kung ano ba talaga yung truth value niya or yung totoong value ng 0 over 0. So that's it for the difference of mathematical expression and mathematical sentence. Ang expression, tandaan, wala siyang truth value, hindi siya pwedeng maging true or false kasi hindi naman complete ang thought niya. Yun ang main difference niya sa mathematical sentence dahil ang mathematical sentence pwedeng maging true, pwedeng maging false, pwedeng maging conditional or maging indeterminate dahil kompleto na ang kanyang thought. 
Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.